Here's the plane I'm going to make. It's called the Nesmith Cougar by Peck Polymers. Uh, this is a kit that's been sitting in my closet for about 20 years. It's a little older kit. It's got print wood, so you have to cut out all the parts. There is a newer version that has uh, laser cut parts. I would get that. Saves a lot of time. You can see I already cut out most of the parts here. And I started laying out the fuselage. So here we go. Working on that a little bit. Now this is new for me. In the old days we, I always use pins to pin it to the board, but this is called a magnet board. It's a piece of steel that I glued to my work board. And then you can use magnets to hold the uh, pieces in place. So this is pretty good so far. It seems to be working fairly well. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we are a week later and I've got most of the fuselage done here. I've been taking my time, just a little bit at a time. Here's some white glues I've been using. And I have to say, the magnet board is really, really nice. You can hold pieces up vertically, you can align pieces, it's fantastic. Keep your pin on the board, keep your tweezers and your knife from rolling all over. It's really, really nice, so I've been enjoying it. So here we got most of the fuselage done and uh, now we'll get working on uh, the wing and tail. All right, it's actually about a year later from the previous frame. I didn't have much time to build. But you can see at this point, we've basically got the structure for the Nesmith Cougar is all built and it's ready to get doped and a little bit of sanding. And uh, here's what you might usually use. This is called butyrate. It's hot fuel proof, but we don't really need that with rubber power. So rubber power modelers tend to use this, which is called nitrate. It's a little bit more solid, so it'll seal a little faster. And of course, that means it's lighter, which is important. I also have a little bit of thinner and a little retarder. The retarder slows down the drying a little bit so it doesn't shrink as much. And uh, you can also tell them down here in the basement for a reason because you really shouldn't be breathing these fumes. Uh, luckily I have a little outdoor space. But if you have to work in an indoor space then definitely you should wear a mask. Something like this. Uh, the important thing is that it has carbon filters because that will get rid of the, the bad elements that you don't want to breathe. So we're ready to get dope in here on the Nesmith Cougar. Okay, so we finished covering the Cougar here. I ended up not sticking it with the dope uh, in the traditional method. Instead, I ended up using this uh, Yuhu glue stick. It was actually a lot easier with these smaller surfaces. And I put on uh, two coats of uh, thin nitrate dope. I could use a little practice on the covering, but it didn't come out too bad. Uh, the decals are over 20 years old. I had a little problem with those, but I ended up getting them stuck on there for the most part. So we're pretty much ready to fly, and I'll see you in the field.